Hey guys, it's Meme and welcome to Top Tips. And today we're gonna to be talking about sinking our blade. This is the blade on our trimmer. This will work on any trimmer. You can sink the blade or start the blade in the middle of the page on any trimmer. Let me show what I mean by that. So here's a piece of cardstock and it's not the kind I normally use. This is a really inexpensive kind of flimsy piece of cardstock. And I'm using this on purpose because I wanna show you that the cardstock I'm using does not make as big of a difference as the technique. Okay, so what you do is you place your cardstock or paper into your trimmer to cut it. And then most of the time you push your blade up to the top and you uh, close it down like this and you pull this down. When you do, that causes you to get a crooked line. Let me show you why. We're spending all this, we're putting all this pressure up against the stop for the cardstock, but when we're pulling the blade, we're pulling down against this motion. It doesn't make any sense. That's what makes our paper slip and get out of whack. Instead, here's what I wanna encourage you to do. At least, if nothing else, just put your blade down and push from the bottom so all pressure is going to that uh, stop. But here's the best thing to do. Take your blade, here's mine here, and sink it into your cardstock. You can see here, I'll show you, my blade is sunk. Do you see that? Um, now what you do is, if your, if your paper is pushed upward toward that stop, then you push your blade upward toward that stop first, and then you finish it off, and that gets you a nice, smooth, even cut. The next thing I wanna show you is really key, and I'm gonna show you using a piece of just uh, printer paper, because I think this will actually <laughs> prove my point. It may not, it may not, but I'm gonna see if it will. Okay, so you know how when you have a piece of paper or something, you need to cut on the diagonal, and you go like this, and let me bring this where I know you guys can see it good. You go like this, you get your diagonals lined up in the cut, and you bring your blade down here and you push upwards. I'll, I'll show you this really quick. Can you see, and this is on copy paper, but it does it on cardstock too. Can you see here how that wrinkled at the bottom? We don't want that wrinkle at the bottom. Let me show you what you do to stop that. Let's cut this piece to the same size. I did a three by three. Here, look, I'm gonna sink the blade again. It just works really well to do that. And then we're gonna line this up. And this time, instead of pushing from the bottom up, I'm gonna sink my blade. And then I'm gonna go up and down. And I wanna show you the difference. Look at that point, nice and clean. I want that to focus and look at this point, nice and clean. Makes all the difference in the world. So there you go, guys. That tip is called sinking your blade. Give it a try. Tell me in the comments below if you already do it. I know so many of you do and tell me how much of a difference it's made for your um, paper trimming. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you again next time. Bye-bye.